Hello and welcome to Pock and Rock. In today's video, I am going to be ranking my top 15 Adele songs, but before I do that, I'm going to do my review of the brand new Adele album, 30. This was released a week ago and massive amounts of pre-orders and sales and is set to smash into the number one position around the globe, including here in her home country in the United Kingdom. I have purchased Adele 30. You can see it here on vinyl. So what do I think of it? Generally, if I could sum it up, it would be a disappointment. And that really rather saddens me. I love 21 and I love 25. I think 25 was an astonishingly consistent follow-up to the behemoth that is 21. And I suppose it's an awful lot to expect an artist to be able to replicate that level of quality and success multiple times. And I really don't think she's achieved it here on 30. 30 is a almost relentlessly downbeat album. But there's no emotional release from that. So there's nothing like Rolling in the Deep that kicks off 21 or Send My Love to Your New Lover or Water Under the Bridge, those kind of slightly more thumping and anthemic songs that balance the album out. It's an hour long, over two sides of vinyl, for 12 songs, and it could have done with some editing. So what's good about 30? Well, nobody does talk songs quite like Adele. They are, they are something else, and there are some really strong songs on here the track easy on me is a was a great lead off single and is a typical classic adele track i quite like side two of the record which contains cry your heart out oh my god and can i get it there's a little bit more oomph in that and love is a games a pretty decent track to close and the rest is okay with a few exceptions so unlike 21 and 25, there is a song on here that kind of grinds my gears. And it is My Little Love. Now, My Little Love would have been a, a perfectly fine, if not even great song. It's a lovely sentiment all about her, her child. But it's completely hold below the waterline when she includes the conversational stuff, presumably recorded on an iPhone tips it into mawkish. There is a reason that Adele 30 is so relentlessly downbeat. It's a divorce album. However, that does not have to mean that it could be so almost one note as 30 seems to be when it's a divorce album. It, it, there is pain in there. There is no question about that. But there's pain in 21 and there's pain in 25. And they have the lifting bangers that this album kind of lacks. And so it gives me no pleasure to say it, but the album's meh. Both my kids are big Adele fans. They love the first three albums. And they both said the same. It isn't just me. Both my kids have listened to it. When I've played it on vinyl, they've listened to it on Spotify. And they've both said, there's a couple of decent tracks on there that we like. And they both like the same ones. And <laughs> you might find out whether or not I like the same ones when I look at my top 15. So to liven things up a little bit after that downbeat review of a downbeat album, let's dive into my top 15 Adele songs. So at number 15, I have placed Cry Your Heart Out from 30. I do like this track. I think it's a, it's a highlight of the album, not the highlight, as you'll see in a minute. But it needed more of these punchy tracks, like I've just said, like Cry Your Heart Out, for this album to lift to the level of 19. And I think 19 is better than 30. 15, Cry Your Heart Out. And number 14 from 19 is her peerless cover version of Make You Feel My Love. This is an example of a cover version that defeats the original 
in quality. Bob Dylan's original comes from an album called Time Out of Mind. Adele's version is just supreme. It's beautiful. And as so often is the case with Bob Dylan songs, they're often sung so much better than someone that's not Bob Dylan. And Make You Feel My Love. Early signature song for Adele. I think it's beautiful. And number 13, the lead off single, I believe currently still at the number one spot in the UK, Easy On Me from 30. The best track on here. She made the right decision about what was going to be pre-released as a single. This is classic Adele territory. Easy On Me is a beautiful song. And number 12 from the album 25 is Water Under the Bridge. This is the kind of song that Adele 30 likes. Water Under the Bridge is a heartbreak song, but it drives and powers through in a way that so much of this album doesn't. Water Under the Bridge at number 12. And number 11 from 21, which I still think is her greatest album, Set Fire to the Rain, her third single from that record. Didn't do much because by then everybody had bought the album, and I mean everybody. Set Fire to the Rain is a great tune, a great song. Set Fire to the Rain, number 11. Number 10, returning to 25 now, is I Miss You. And this is one of those um, torch song kind of things that she puts a little bit under in terms of the beat and the production, and it really, really works. Miss You, number 10. Number nine is, I think, the best track from 19, Chasing Pavements. This is the launch of her career. This is the launch of her as a songwriter. I know many people admire Hometown Glory. I particularly don't like it that much. This is the best thing on 19, period, for me. Number nine, Chasing Pavements. And number eight is a song that in our house is known as Semolina Pudding. And that's just because of the way that I once heard it. It's Send My Love to Your New Lover. And the reason it's called that is because over those first lines, I almost always end up singing semolina pudding and a pineapple, cheese and pears. Send my love to your new lover. I think her vocal decisions on this are entertaining and fun. And she herself kind of cites this as being a bit of a emotional lifting point after the, the painfulness that's in the first song, Hello. Send my love at number eight. Number seven, returning to 21 for Rumour Has It. This is banging. And it's all down to those thumping drums that are hammered away through the opening of the track. And she sings so well. And this the, the melody just goes in places you don't expect it. Rumour Has It is a, is a great song at number seven. And number six from 25 is a song that, when I read the title, I forget what it is. And that kind of applies to quite a few things on the second half of both 21 and 25. And then I hear them and I go, oh, yes, it's this. And this is Million Years Ago. This, I don't know what it is about this, but this reminds me of something else. And maybe maybe it's something from uh, 60s Motown Soul. I don't know. But the, the, the slow stuff of that and and... Maybe it's something like The Girl from Ipanema. I'm not sure. I can't place what I remember when I hear million years ago. But I think it's beautiful. And that lilting, cascading melody, it's, it's really a strong standout song for me on 25. Million years ago at number six. And number five is another cover version. And I have placed the bonus track from 21, If It Hadn't Been For Love. Now, when I first listened to 21, it was on headphones on a download. And I downloaded the special edition. It finished with Someone Like You, as the album usually does. And then it went into If It Hadn't Been For Love. I was on a train and I thought, I love this. And then I found out that it's a bonus track and it's a cover version. 
if it hadn't been for love i think is a really really good cover it's a really really good song and she sings it perfectly number five if it hadn't been for love and number four is the song that i've just mentioned as concluding the 21 album someone like you this was at one point my second favorite adele song it made her now i know rolling in the deep had been a number two hit but someone like you when she sang that at the brits her career is not founded on someone like you but established on it it was suddenly demanded as a single it spent weeks at number one it was a hit all around the world and as a result 21 is i believe the second biggest selling album of all original material in the whole of the uk that's not bad for an album that came out only 10 years ago someone like you is just a great song and i think it will if it hasn't already tip into that category of a standard in years to come i think someone like you will be picked up and sung by people for the next 50 years or so if not longer someone like you number four number three is a song i've already mentioned in fact about a minute ago rolling in the deep the opening track from 21 this hit number one in the US and was a huge hit. Rolling in the Deep is what a way to start an album that has sold as many bucket loads as 21. Everything that is missing from Adele 30 is on Rolling in the Deep. And if she had something like this on 30, and I know we don't want artists not to evolve or change, but something of this level of release, and this was the first track on 21, then I think 30, I'd have enjoyed it more. But Rolling in the Deep, number three. And number two, and this surprised me when I ranked it, I realized I absolutely loved When We Were Young. I think it's the finest thing on 25. It's a, this is a torch song done brilliantly well. The chorus, punches at the top and then it it cascades slowly down towards that it was just like a movie it was just like a song which is my favorite line in the song when we were young number two and as i've said that i've picked my favorite from 21 and 25 and 19 and 30 there's only one possibility for what i place at number one skyfall adele was riding high 21 was immense and then she was approached to write the theme song for the 50th anniversary Bond film Skyfall. It's perfect. It's a perfect Adele song and it's a perfect Bond song. It works on both levels. You hear it and, and it evokes Bond. There's even those little bits in the, in the orchestral um, music in the background where you hear a tiny bit of the Bond theme and then she delivers an absolutely peerless song it's my favorite Bond theme and that's a hard admission for someone who's a Paul McCartney fan and loves Live and Let Die Skyfall it is Adele's best song it's the best Bond theme and it's my number one so that concludes my review of Adele 30 and my top 15 Adele songs let me know in the comments below what yours might have been. Let me know what you think of the Adele 30 album. Will it grow on me? May I have to revisit this in a year's time and think, did I get my assessment of 30 wrong? I don't think so. But first time positive listens do not necessarily translate into a lifetime love of something and vice versa, you things can grow on you. So let me know, what did you think of 30 and what do you rank as her best songs? Just remember to like the video, hit the subscribe button, and a reminder that I am looking at doing on my first anniversary the Pock and Rock Awards. If you have any ideas for categories that I should include, let me know in the comments below. But until next time, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.